Hi there you guys! I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading. Today's tutorial is for Native American style large flower blossoming earrings with fringes. I will show them step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more tutorials like this. Also, please like, share and comment and you help me so much with these actions, guys. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And it comes with perks and two courses of videos absolutely ads free that you could check in the join button and in description. Now, without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 ounce seed beads. You could use 10 ounce seed beads instead. These are white, yellow, orange, red and iris. Here I'm also using earring findings, liver bags. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D and you could use other brand of your choice but the fringes it's better to be done with nylon thread so the, the top part you could do with other type of thread if you prefer like fireline or wildfire and here i'm using size 11 beading needle use similar size of needle scissors and flat nose pliers okay and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'm sure it's not going to be enough for these earrings so i will show you how to add more thread at one point okay let's get started okay guys and now i have 20 red beads on my needle five times four it's 20 and i'm going to slide those down then what i want to do is to go back through all of those beads like this back in circle okay and now i'm here where my tail thread meets my main thread and what i want to do is to make a knot and how i'm making my knot i'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and then I will make just one more knot the same similar way okay and now I have this beautiful circle of beads here okay my friends in my next step what I want to do is to go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to pick up two orange beads and I'm going back in circle through these two red beads. When I pull, I have this. Then I go in the next two red beads, two orange, and this time I will go through four beads in this direction. Why? Because now I'm directly in a position to add other two instead of doing one more movement here. Okay, I'll show it one more time. Okay, go back through these two red beads and through the next two. And pull. And this is basically it guys. This is what I'm gonna be doing until the end of this row. And because it's pretty similar, I'll let you do this by yourself and I'll meet you here in a while. Just pause, do this and meet me. And now I'm here guys where I need to add my last two orange beads from this row. And I'm adding them the same way. Okay, then in my next step, I want to go here in the next orange that's coming on my way. Now I'm going to start another row. Okay, I take two orange beads 
and I go in the next two orange beads. Two again, go in the following. Two more and yes guys it's that easy. Just add two orange beads between these two orange beads that you added in your previous row. In this way you create the so-called herringbone stitch. And I think guys you got the idea two, two, two. Do this until the end and meet me here. Okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last two orange beads in this row. I went through this orange and now I want to go through the neighbor orange. Okay. Okay guys and I have two yellow beads here. Just like that. Then I go in the next orange. I add two yellows again between these two orange beads and as you may see I continue the herringbone stitch and it looks better now. Go in the orange, two yellows, go like this. next orange and because it's super easy and super intuitive this row continue by yourself until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay my friends and here I am at the last step where I'm adding my last two yellow beads from this row. Now I'm going in this yellow. Now I'm going to take a long sequence and I'll be back to tell you what it is. And the sequence that I'm picking up is two yellows, 13 white beads and two yellow beads. Okay and as I'm exiting from one of the yellows I go in the other yellow and pull. And here what I need is just one iris bead. Now it turns to one side but we'll fix it later in the next step so don't worry. Okay guys then I take two yellows, 13 white beads and two yellow beads. I skip one and I go through the following. And I take one iris and go in the next yellow. And I take two yellow, 13 white and two yellow beads and I go in the next yellow. Again, don't worry for this flipping like this, we'll fix it in the next rows and then I pick up one iris bead. And because it is absolutely the same thing guys, I add this sequence and one iris bead and I continue this until the end. That is why I'm going to do this off camera, you pause, do this and I'll meet you here. Okay my friends and now I have the same sequence, 2 yellow, 13 white and 2 yellow and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding it the same way and here I need one of those beautiful iris beads and I go here in this first yellow bead. Okay, now I have this. Then in my next step, my friends, 
I want to go through those two yellow beads and through the next two white beads. Okay, and I take a red, a yellow and a red and I'm also going here through this white bead, the second white. After the yellows I count one, two and I go through the second one. Then I take two iris beads and I go again in the second white. Okay, I take red, yellow and red, go in the second white counting from the center, then two, go again in the second white, the same sequence red, yellow, red, go in the second white bead after the yellows and then two iris second white and I'm going to continue guys absolutely the same way until the end and if uh, your petal is switched like this just turn it gently and then go through the second white okay I will do this off camera and I will meet you and I'm here guys at my last step if you forget how I'm doing it and you're not to this step just go back and rewind the video and repeat the first steps that I showed you okay now I'm exiting through two white beads and I want to exit through two more white beads so now I am after the fourth white bead counting here from the yellow part one two three four and I take one red bead and I go in this yellow and I'm going to take one more red and I want to go through this white okay I need three beads and one two three four I'm going here in the fourth one adding three go in the yellow one red one two three four go in the fourth white three iris beads and go in the fourth fourth white again one red go in the yellow one more red go in the fourth white bead then again three iris and fourth white one red in the yellow and one red and fourth white Okay, and I'm going to continue this guys absolutely the same way until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and now I'm at the end of this row. One, two, three, four. Again, I go here. And I want to reposition my thread by exiting in the middle one of these three beads that I added in the previous step okay then I need four 
iris beads and here I have one, two, three, four, five white beads at the top and I go in the middle one. Then I take four and I go here in the middle iris and I have this beautiful shape forming here guys at the petal. Okay and I take four again and how I find the middle here I count one, two, the third one is the middle because before it I have two beads and after it I also have two beads so the third one is the middle one. Okay four and go here four and go in the middle one four again and I will continue these guys until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last four from this row and maybe many of you will stop their work up to here without adding fringes it's okay if you like this one better without fringes you just add earring finding and you're ready but now I will tell you how to create fringes first of all we need to do something like a basis for the fringes okay so where I want to go is to through three of those four newly added beads in the previous row so I take two again and I skip one of these four and I go through the next three okay then what I want to do is go in this direction through the white and through three more of those beautiful iris beads and I take two and I go through three and through the following white and I want to do this one more time go through three beads take two and go in this direction like that okay so this here guys is the basis of the fringes that I want to do now in my next step I want to go back to this part that I just added and start creating fringes how I'm going to do this I'm just going to zigzag through my beads and I make sure in the process no thread is showing and I want to go here between those two additional beads that I added last yes okay I'm between them and I'm going to pick up the following sequence one red two orange beads one yellow and one white bead okay then I'm sliding those down just like this I will skip these three beads at the end the iris ones and I will go in the next of those two beads that I added in my previous row okay so I have my first fringe ready guys then what I want to do is to go here in this next bead and I'm going to take another long sequence and it is the following three red three orange four yellow 
two white and three iris beads okay and I'm going to slide those down I will skip these three beads here that I have and I'm going backwards through all of the other beads and I'm going not in this bead that I'm exiting out of but I go in this one the third one okay on my way now I will show you one more time how I'm making another colorful sequence and after that I will cut my thread and add a new one because it's not enough for more fringes okay my friends and I picked up the following sequence five red five orange five yellow four white and three iris and I'm going to slide those down then I will go back the same way and by the way it will be all the same for the next fringes I will just skip the last three beads and I will go back that is why I'm not going to show it every time but I will just give you the sequence of the beads you add and you will be able to do this by yourself okay so now I will go through some beads here and because this thread is not enough to make another fringe I will go here somewhere here I will make a knot and cut this thread and I will add another thread how I'm cutting it I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made to create a knot and after that I go through some beads in this direction and after that I cut my thread close to my work okay now I will add another long thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and let me show you how I'm adding a new thread okay I I will go through some beads here like that with the long thread that I took about an arm span again and here what I want to do is the same thing that I showed you before I'm creating here a loop and I'm going twice through the same loop that I did to make a secure knot then I pull and where I want to make my next fringe it's here and by the way I want to turn my my thread to go in the other direction that is why I will go like this through the white and through the iris and then I will go back through the white and through the iris why I'm doing this because I want to go with the fringes in this direction okay so I will cut this tail thread here I don't need it anymore now I will show you one by one the sequence I, I take for each fringe and I will show you the ready result because it is all the same what I will be doing from here on okay okay my friends and here is my next fringe ready a thread 8 orange 8 yellow 6 white and 3 iris okay I'll do the next one and I'll be back okay and I just did the fifth fringe and it consists of 10 red 10 orange 10 yellow 7 white and 3 iris and I'm here between those next two iris beads in a position to start the middle sixth fringe I'll do this and I'll be back okay guys and the sixth 
middle fringe consists of 12 red, 12 orange, 12 yellow, 8 white and 3 iris beads. Okay, from now on I'm not going to show you how I'm making the other fringes because they are absolutely the same as this one. So repeat what you have here from this side, mirroring it. So first you start from this, do it here, then this, after that, this, this and this. Okay, do this off camera. You could watch from your ready work because you have it or you can rewind the video and repeat this sequence the other way around. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and when I repeat all of those fringes from this side, absolutely the same way, this is what I have. You can tell me in the comment, are you going to make the fringes or you want to do only the top part. And now what I want to do is to add my earring finding at the end and I will go through all of those beads and I will reach this point here and when I'm up to here I'll be back. Okay guys and it is a long tutorial but finally I am here at this part I'm going through these three iris beads and I'm going to take one seed bead, my earring finding and one seed bead and I will go back through this iris beads which is, which is next to the inner angle. Then I'm going through the inner angle and I want to reinforce this joint and cut my thread. That is why I'm going like this in circle. And you could go several times if you want. And when you're ready guys, what you can do is to go through some beads and make a knot. Okay, choose a place, let's say here. I make a loop, I go twice through the loop I've made, I pull, go through some beads and cut this tail thread. Okay guys and now my native style large flowers with fringes are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to, to subscribe if you still haven't. Also please like, share and comment in this way. You help me so much. A lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and this one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.